Well, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Little Miss Fortune. Now, last time we went to the zoo, we had a fun time at a spoopy carnival, we got a nice boat ride from Charon. Let's just go right back in, shall we? Yeah! Alright. What was it? Yes, there's my glitter. Okay. Always have to remind myself. Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Oh, no. Hey, He-Man! Alright. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. All right. Oh, hello. Hero? What's going on there, Hero? Uh. Huh. Huh. Okay. You? Oh, oh no. Oh damn it. My little foot got stuck. Well that's not great. Not if something's coming. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh no. We got Leave this. Alone. Yeah. Yeah. You better What are you running away from? <laughs> Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Looked more wolf-like than fox-like. Well, hello there. Don't make any sudden moves. Now nah, we're going to get up. We're going to say hi to Mr. Benjamin. Uh, yeah. Boss, so soft. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Yeah. Hi, Benjamin. How you doing? Don't leave, Benjamin. Aw, Benjamin. Benjamin... Be my friend, come on. Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're oh, too clearly. Important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. You know what? We're gonna find Benjamin. We're getting him, okay? Oh dear! Oh dear! What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh huh. I know. I could have been more specific. Like, there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop, or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well. I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? <laughs> yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I can... Oh, you better believe. Look at this good bean. <laughs> Oh, it looks like one of those. Oh, this makes me think about Bobsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bobsy the Teddy in the secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? Oh. These bear traps. Because he's a teddy bear. <laughs> he lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bobsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. 
Bubsy died. What are you talking about? How about Bubsy? Don't you listen? Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Drop that in the bear trap. Poor Bubsy. I'm pretty sure I already did this, yes. Oh, hello. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. I do so see. You know. Yes. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. There we go. It's stuck. Huh. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. Interesting indeed. You know what? It's stuck. Huh. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess never mind that then. Oh, hello. There we go. We got another doll. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Aww. Oh, nice. Always nice to get a good fortune what are you going. Doing? Nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it, Mr. Voice. Mind your own business sometimes, huh? How about that? So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? It's gonna be kind of hard not to with all that's going on yes, today. Yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's Aww. magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh yes. Yes it is, my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? Uh, I feel like it would be bad to say I no. Guess. I can only hear you in my head, and I trust my own head, so yeah. That makes me so happy to hear, Miss Fortune. Well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Well, I mean, I am a little kid. Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like too mysterious, you know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Why is there smoke? Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know? This is such a low-hanging cloud. Look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure the fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Let's just wander on in. Oh, what we got oh, going on here? It looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get on in here. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Get out of the rain already. You don't want to catch your death of cold. <sighs> okay. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us and everything will be fine. There we go. Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. Yeah. Whoa, a video player. Fancy. Fancy. Oh. Let's see. see, in woods. Benjamin's on TV. <laughs> this doesn't really. The monster. Damn it! I broke Benjamin's tape. Oh no. Let's see. Conf Maybe I can fix it. Let's do this. Happiness to the video player. What? What? <laughs> There we go. Ah, oh, what a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? Ooh. Let's respect his privacy. I won 
who's buying Benjamin's personal stuff? There we go. Because we're a good little girl. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, let's get this going. All right, enough of that. Huh. Mmm, that tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Because I can almost smell his paws blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. Yeah, let's give it a whirl, right? I mean, if it's good for a fox. Mm, it definitely tastes like his fluffy paws. Aww. Mm, delicious. Oh, are we getting a little hazy here? Ugh, I feel weird. Maybe we should put the cup down before we collapse? <laughs> oh, hello. Aww. <laughs> Aww. This is the sweetest outside of the flies buzzing around Benjamin's head. I <laughs> Miss Fortune's dreams never turn out well. This is a very unfortunate. Uh, Benjamin. Oh, you puked more glitter. What? Oh. So things are going well Look here. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> Let's see, what else can we get? Oh, hello! <gasps> Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Aww. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Yeah. Is this a kiss? Is this really <laughs> happening? What is that? Is that your diary? You want me to read it? Oh! Is that what you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Wow, okay. So, feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo knows I'm here. Morgo play old trick many times now. But it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code, misfortune, is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued. But I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary! You can't hide the children. Oh! Let's follow Benjamin now. Alright. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Uh, misfortune. Maybe, uh... Maybe hustle a little bit? No? No, we're just going to, uh... Okay. Why? Why? Benjamin, where do you go? Well, maybe if you didn't faceplant falling down the stairs. They'll... There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Oh my goodness. Okay, little lady. Oh no, is this Benjamin? Oh no, oh, is this okay. Benjamin? I thought she was just gonna take some of it for herself, but no. Uh huh. Such a clever little lady. Yes, you are. Let me just shimmy this on over here. There we go. Time to use my ninja skills. There we go! Ninja stealth! Shh! What a bad crack! 
Be quiet. <laughs> this is a ninja mission. Why was Benjamin, this? Are you here? Hmm. So it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Yes, maybe. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. What's wrong with sushi? Sushi's delicious, I'll have you know. Ooh, what's over here? Before we check that out. There's hmm, a, key. a picture of a key. Interesting. Hmm. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Let's go. Let's get that hmm. key. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> yes. A secret button. <gasps> yes, let's push the button. All right then, I push the button. Yeah, I figured that was going to open the door. All right, all right. That was easy. All right, so we... Oh, no, we can't, uh... All right, time to find Bungie. Oh. Yep. Oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I got the eternal happiness. I'm sure they will, Miss... Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Okay. Come on, girl. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. Misfortune. You can stand up at some point in your life. Come on, girl. You are stronger than you think. Oh my god, just get up. Just get up. Get up, girl! I've been knocked down before. Oh my goodness. Come on. Did you let that stop you? No, you did not. Come get on, Misfortune. Misfortune. You can do it. Misfortune, I feel like you're dragging this out much more than it needed to be. Because. Misfortune! Because. Misfortune! You are the little lady, Misfortune! Okay. Come on, Misfortune. Let's move it, mosey on along here. Okay. I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Okay. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Look at you. Mm, dream come true. There we go, see? I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> I mean, that looks kind of like an adult deer. No. Benjamin was here. Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. I trusted you. What are you talking about? Benjamin made it really clear with a picture he showed me. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop Aww. this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop oh. That. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. Yeah. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. 
Let's Keep see it. what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. All right. Well, there we go. We got the last of the hay dolls. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? Huh? I don't know what that means. That might not have been the last of the hay dolls. But oh. Is that Benjamin as a baby? <laughs> so cute. Oh. oh gosh. Oh, this is really mysterious. For students of the University of Sender Sadist Technology. Protector course, three step guide. Three step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. As the ultra-reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituted free, five realms of essential existence, have appeared. After the Ultra War, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm, we refer to it as the Beyond. The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. Do we need to read all this? This... I'm worried... I'm worried this is going to go on for 20 years. Okay. It's not that long. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the Ultra Reality before the Ultra War. The Beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors also known as Parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need the Protectors. The Protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the Ultra Reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into Center City. Oh, Center City? Okay. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Center City. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step one. The protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protector's parasite case, P. Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to a check to step two. Need of assistance checklist. One, the victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. Two, the victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. Three, the victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. Four, the victim sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite. <sighs> checklist of Parasite Morgo. One, deforms reality into absurdity. Two, Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Three, it shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. Four, it quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Five, large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Step two. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Paint? I like to paint. Prepare for direct contact with... With the what? Now uh, I will never know. Man... Ah, oh, well. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Don't worry, we got you. There we go. Repaired your bag for you. I'm here for you, Benjamin. I'm here for you. I ship you in misfortune. I'm doing everything I can. Uh-oh. Come on, Benji. You can help. All 
right. I guess I'll take the train back home. But should we, though? Should we really? Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. Yeah. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Ooh. Alright. Time for the final confrontation, right guys? Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. Oh! So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. And then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> Let's do this. We're taking Mr. Voice down to Chinatown here. Ooh, hero. The Chungking Asaurus. Uh. Oh, there we go. Okay. We got this, guys. We got this. We got this, see? Look at us. Look at us. Oh, gosh, there's so much here. Okay, okay. We can do this. We can finish this bad boy off. I wasn't expecting the coloring. But no, no, we got this. We can do this. We can do this. Miss Fortune going to finish her coloring book before uh, we get back home and possibly die or possibly find out that we were already dead. I mean, at the end of the day, you know. The end of the day, you know, we get, we gave it a good run. Even if we did die uh, after living a really tragic and sad life. After getting named Miss Fortune by our awful parents that hugs strangers out by the dumpster. You know, as any good parent would. As any good parent would, really. Okay, so we just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know I don't have to do this. I can see that uh, I can close it out, but you know what? No, we're doing this. We're finishing this bad boy off. And there's nothing any of you can say to change my mind about this. Okay, so we're just going to do the careful strokes here, you know. All right, all right. And we just whoosh. And then we whoosh. And then we whoosh. And then we whoosh. Look at this. Bold, powerful strokes. The kind that mom might make. All right. We're getting close to the end here. We're banking it along. We're doing good work. All right, we got the nice little heart there. Okay, we uh we missed a line there. That's my bad. There we go. We fixed it. We turned it around. And there we go. We got it. We got. We finished it off. Except for the clouds a little bit there. Okay, come on. Is that everything? No, we still got a little bit over here. A little bit of a mess there. Got a little... There we go. Got a little... See this over here? Is it, there we go! And we're done. Okay, so what do we do? Oh, no. Okay, we've got so much more. Okay, I'm not going to subject you all to both. Inspired. Yeah. Uh. 
Oh! Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. Hm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. I get the feeling that Mr. Voice is not who he says he is. Have you ever heard voices in your head? Oh. I know, consequences Hira, of the... What does it mean? Be aware of the consequences. Oh no! Let's help him. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Come on. Not poor hero. You know what? I think Mr. Voice is a bit of a jerk. I hope I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what the monster did to him. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. You show that can who's boss. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Oh. Poor misfortune. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Yes. Ugh. Kick it! Yeah! Show that can who's boss! What? Ugh. Yeah! Ah, oh, hello, ghosty people. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well. If that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Yeah. You show them. You tell them. Let them know you're not to be trifled with, Miss Fortune. You talk to ghosts. You held hands with a fox. Today is your day. No matter what happens here. Get out of here, birds. Stop eyeballing me for Morgo. Where's the car? Is daddy gone again? Oh, jeepers. I'm sure this will all turn out fine. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. We got red lights. I like them. Alright, guys. It's time to finish this off. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? Wow, her hair is kind of a mess by now. I just noticed that we are a little frazzly. What's that sound, Benji? Huh. I'm sure it's nothing. Okay. This isn't ominous at all. Hello, mommy, Benji. What happened here? Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play along, Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. Will I though? I'm still on. <laughs> this is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? 
No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait, stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful, fantastic, ready to... wait, what? No deal, no, no. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure, I promise you know the way. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what? Let's just check out back if under the Mr. bed. Mr. Voice scares me again. I'm gonna run and hide in here. We gonna dance? Huh? Is this a new dance song? Come on. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's see your dance moves. Ah. That Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. <gasps> that villain. Alright. Okay, right. I'm just gonna play his game one last time. So let's see. Oh you no. You wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. All right. New game. Knock knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stupid! Leave me alone! Knock, 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 knock. Oh no. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. So do we have to? No. So let's just haul booty back to our room. There we go. And everything will be nice and fine in here. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Yep, yep, yep. Just hustle on in here. So see, we're gonna be okay. We're in our secret spot. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Oh. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is it is now? Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. And his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. Yeah. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Oh. Ah! You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. Wow. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No. We made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Oh, 
Oh, Benjamin! See? Benjamin! <laughs> How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. See, look, guys. Benjamin? Benjamin's our real hero. Stupid parasite. No. No. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Ooh, be aware. So how are things now? I see the house is back to normal. Okay. I see we've got a doll there. Oh, I guess we did have one more. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? Okay, let's see. Let's see. First and foremost. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head. Driving you mad. See? That would have been good to have known earlier. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. See? Benjamin, did you go outside? Well, everything certainly seems more peaceful. Benjamin, so where are you? Okay. Okay, we we seem to be doing much better. Our hair is still a disaster, but you know. Okay, we've still got food cooking. Is mom at the end here? Mom is nowhere to be found. Maybe she's outside? Okay, okay. Mommy? This oh Mommy I'm back Mommy don't ignore me Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? Um, What's happening? Why is hmm? mom getting see through here? Oh no, misfortune. This must be a bad dream. So, oh no. Oh no, guys. Is that... Oh no. <laughs> Welp. Oh, Bengi, you're back. I thought I lost you too. Oh. What's this? What? What's happening? Well, at least we've got Benjamin, go? right? Uh, Benji, you're kind of... you're kind of... Benji, wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Yeah. See? Hello, mommy. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Benji, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's <laughs> what I am. Aww. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while, but you need to find your own happiness now. Oh. I love you forever.
Okay. Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? Uh, I don't know that Benjamin can actually, uh, talk, but... Alright, alright. This is really sad. <laughs> oh, the puppy! Oh, puppy! I'm so happy to see you again. Wait for me, puppy. Okay, come on. Are we just going to meet everyone that died? Oh, I don't know what these are. Are we going to meet Hero? sure this is fine, right? I love Benji's determined face. It's a nice contrast with the dog. <laughs> Alright guys, come on. We can make it here. Alright. Really cold. Okay. Well, we've got a coat on and a hat. Oh! Oh no. Is he going to be mad at us for all the questions earlier? Oh, there we go. Look at that. I guess it's a good thing we threw so much glitter everywhere. We've got a nice full heart going. Aha! Uh -huh. We just keep finding these everywhere. All around... Okay, hang on. All around the thrusters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Aww. Huh, I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Okay, come on, girl. You can make it. Let's go. Um, hi. Did you want to... There we go. Well, howdy. Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. <laughs> That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. Oh, we were expecting you. Well, all right. If you guys are going to be all polite about it. What is this place? It's a good question. Oh. Um. What is this now? What is happening there? We're just flying through the sky, are we? Living our best lives. Oh. We're back at our house. Okay. Okay. Aww. So we did give her her far that we did manage to give her our eternal happiness. It's kind of weird that she's smiling right after being told that her daughter died, but you know, you know, it, it is what it is. It is what you take your happiness where you can get it, right? You take it where you can find it. Okay, guys. 
So, this was Little Misfortune. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, it got really dark at parts. Um, I, I think we kind of all figured that she might be dead, like the whole time. I think, I, I think it was kind of a. Uh, they, they leaned pretty heavily into the hints for that, but uh, yeah. This is, this is a really fun one. Um, it's pretty simple. Like, it's, you know, I mean, I, I don't want to, like, oversell it, but, uh, you know, like, you're pretty much just walking left and right and hitting E whenever a, something pops up and then making random choices that you think, like, you would think, uh, the big one that got me was the dog. Where I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to let the dog free, because then he'll just he'll just run out and get hurt somehow. But instead, no, by leaving him tied to the tree, that that winds up getting him killed. That caught me by surprise. So uh, I'm kind of wondering if setting him free, he would still die. I wonder if it's one of those false choice type things, since he wound up in the ending anyway. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe like. Maybe I could have killed a bunch more people? And, like, they all would have shown up at the ending? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to play this over again and see what, what's different, what I can do differently. Because I don't remember if, like, I can... I don't remember if right at the beginning I can just choose not to step into the street or not. I want to see if, that, at the very least, if I can do that, but, uh... That'll be for another time, I guess. But yeah, Little Misfortune? This is a really great indie game. I really had a great time playing it. Uh, I know, like, I know some. I know most of my friends that have been watching uh, my videos have enjoyed this series. So, thank you to all of you guys for uh, watching it with me, watching me playing it. Um, I think this is either uh, twenty or twenty-five bucks on Steam. So it's a. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of almost bargain priced. At least it's not like some AAA game where you're getting sixty dollars for the base game and then like another fifty to a hundred dollars for the season pass and DLC and whatnot. Um, it's kind of short, but it's heavily narrative driven. You know, they didn't want to. Uh, they decided to actually end it when it would be appropriate rather than trying to drag it out to some arbitrary like. 10 or 12 hour long length, you know, which I kind of, which I rather appreciate. Um, yeah, this is just, it's, it's cute, it's funny, it's got a really dark sense of humor. Like, it's, it's kind of hard not to get caught up in the characters in this. I, I can't recommend this one enough. Definitely go see it. Not see it. Definitely go buy it. Play it yourself, you know? I, I just want to go back in, like, already. I just want to go back in and just see what else I can do in the game. Just see if I can... Maybe not, uh, destroy poor Benjamin's, uh, videotape. I feel bad about that, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I, uh, I hope you guys have all been enjoying this series. I hope you all had a great time watching it, as... I hope you all had as much fun watching as I had playing it. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everyone.